How's it going everybody? My name is Lucian. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and deploy Planka. I use this a lot for YouTube. If you're familiar with like Trillo, this is a, a great self-hosted version uh, that is free. So we're going to go ahead and connect to the server here with the tabby. This is the same thing that we uh, used last time. And then we're going to follow the official documentation here but before we do that we need to access sudo which we haven't done yet if you follow along with the actual whole series when we installed uh, ubuntu we didn't do a root user we do have a root user but we don't have the password to it so if we do sudo pass wd root and then type in our password for our current user and now we're going to assign a new password to their root user. So do it whatever you want. Make sure it is secure. And now we're going to su root to switch to that root user. Put in the root password. And now I'm going to clear this out here. You don't have to. So now we're logged in as root on the official documentation here. We're going to follow the steps. I'll have the link to this down below. We're going to click on copy. Go back to our SSH client, right click the paste to enter. And then let me have this on both sides of the screen here. Then we're gonna scroll down. We're going to copy this link right here, paste that in. And then we're going to do the next command, copy that. Paste that in, and then we're going to highlight this code, control C that to copy that. And then we're going to CD slash OPT slash Plinka. And then if we do nano docker dash compose at YML, and we're gonna scroll down here using our arrow keys. We're gonna change some of this information, but before I do that, we go to the seeker key. I'm gonna backspace out of all this where I click to paste that super long key. If we just hold the left arrow key, you can see we're back down here. So now for the base URL here, we are not going to be using localhost. We're going to be using the IP address of our server. In my case, it's that. And everything else we can leave the same. We don't need to mess with anything else. We're going to do control X, Y, then enter. And then if we run this command right here to create our admin account. So we'll just right click on that, hit copy, paste that in. I'm going to let this pull and run the container real quick. All right, now it's asking us for our uh, login credentials for our admin account. So we can just do whatever we want here. We can do Lucian at google.com. The password for that user, the name, and then the username, which is optional, but I'm gonna fill that out. And then it's done. And then we're gonna do docker compose up dash D and that will pull up the container. And just like that, it's done. So if we do a Docker PS here, you can see that our container is up. This one's actually still starting. However, since we do have Portainer, we can look at it right here and it is already up and running. So if we go to that IP address with port 3000, which is already my URL, Pull that up and then we log in with the email address that we just put in and then our password that we set and now we're logged in then we can create a new project since like i said i use this a lot for youtube we're gonna hit create project and then we're gonna add a board call it uh videos and then this is the preferences. We're gonna leave all this at default and just hit the X button. We're gonna close that as well. All right, then we're gonna add a list. We can call this uh, new videos, right? Then this can be edit videos. 
complete it. And so on and so forth, whatever you want. And then we can go in here. We can do edit type. This will be closed as in complete it. Hit save. I also want to edit the color. We'll make that green. We can do edit videos. We can edit the color, do tan. And then new videos. These are videos that need to be recorded. We can edit the, no, no, I'm sorry. Not, not the type, the color. And we'll do that to red. So we can say how to deploy Plinka, if I can spell it correctly. And then we can also do how to set up scum server, right? Now how to, de to deploy, oh, let's just say Vault Warden. That's another one I'm gonna do. So, I'm uh, obviously recording Planker right now, so this should go over here. And then I already did the scum server, so we can put that over there. And we can also add labels to this. So like, uh, let's say the scum server one, you can do whatever kind of labels you want. So if you want to create a new label here, we'll do blue because Windows is usually associated with blue. So we'll call that Windows. This way I know that this is a Windows tutorial, which means, oops, I didn't mean to click that. You can click that to, to add this stuff as well. So we go to labels, get a new label. This is on Linux, so we'll just make this kind of orange. Type in Linux, hit enter, click it, and that's done. And then I did not add the label, all I did was create the label. I've added it, but then I removed it by accident. So we're going to edit that labels. And then this is also on Linux. So you can do whatever labels you want. I'm just kind of giving you guys examples here. So if you got other videos, like if you're doing YouTube as well, you know, you can kind of have a board set up. So like, okay, well, you know, like, a, you know, to, to do list. you know, if you're familiar with Trillo, you know, exactly what I'm talking about. you can even add other boards in here. So like, uh, you could do the other board, right? And then again, it's going to ask you for all this stuff. Again, we're going to just hit X on that because we're going to leave everything at default. And then we can add our new lists, you know, just like we did on the first one. And so you can have different sections. So you can have, you know, a section for my home lab series or a section for uh, Steam servers, you know, for my, you know, for my game servers, it's, it's whatever you want. And when you're done editing, there is a little lock icon right here that we can click on that. And then it pretty much just locks everything into place. So we can't re-edit everything. And if you want to edit everything again, you just click on that. And that allows us to create new boards and edit it. Now there is no open registrations. So you can't have people come here. So like if you were to like port four, this you know, port 3000, for example, then just have like someone else use your public IP address with port 3000, they could access the board, but you're going to need to register that user. So if we go to administration here and then click add user, we can then add a new user and then click on that. We can do if they're going to be a project manager an admin or a board user depending on what role they're going to have. You hit add user and then you have somebody else on your project. So if someone else needs to manage the board or manage whatever you got going on for your board, they can come here and access it as well. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's done. It's super simple, very easy, very quick. I definitely want to encourage you guys to look around here kind of figure out everything, how to do everything. I mean, you can even change like colors and stuff. So if I go back to here, edit this, and let's say background, you know, so I want it, uh, whatever this is, or this, or this, you know? So there's definitely uh, things that you can do. Uh, but like I said, I definitely encourage you to just play around with it, you know, figure it out. That's the best way to learn how to do things is just play around with it. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.